I always roll for a net credit, even if you have to go further out in time. Always rolling for a net credit and collecting income is my new rolling strategy I plan to stick to. Rolling is protecting gains or minimizing losses. I've saved trades that were down $30,000, as you will see later in this video as an example. I've also rolled up shares of high volatile stocks that were trending higher and made 10% or more per week. I'll be showing you both calls and puts in this video with the best practices for doubling your profit or at least increasing it significantly while reducing risk substantially. But one important thing to keep in mind is rolling doesn't work on bad stocks. So don't roll stuff if you don't have faith in the stock to begin with. By the way, I have a bootcamp that is starting soon with seven spots left if you'd like to book a call in the description below and get more information. Now, rolling options is a strategy used by traders to manage their positions and potentially enhance profits while reducing risk. I have so many positions open right now and we're going to be discussing the best practices for rolling and maintaining your profits or cutting losses and properly exiting a position. I've seen it done a lot at the hedge fund that I used to work at specifically for covered call positions. By rolling, traders close their existing option position and they simultaneously open a new position with a different strike price or a different expiration date, or they actually do both. I personally love rolling covered calls up and out. Let's go over an example. Okay, so right now I actually have a position on American Airlines and my Discord community has been making insane amounts of money because American Airlines has a very stable pattern. For example, let me pull up American Airlines right now and show you how this stock has been bouncing up and down and we've been making money on both sides. Okay, as the stock goes down, I've been selling puts and honestly, I have not even had to roll because I've really enjoyed acquiring shares. And then once I acquire shares, I've been using the wheel strategy, which I have a video on in the description as well of this video. And when I do covered calls, this stock ends up selling off for a really good price above my average cost. But lately, as I've sold some put options, I have gotten put at $15.50. I currently have 200 shares. It's a very, very tiny percentage of my portfolio right now. But what you will notice is that American Airlines is currently hovering at $15.15 and I am selling both covered calls and I'm also selling puts. I wouldn't necessarily call it this new, but this is part of my strategy and my new strategy of rolling properly. Okay, so I am selling put options to gain more exposure, but as you'll notice right here that this covered call is in the money. So how do you roll an in the money covered call? Like, what do you do? Do you just let the stock sell off or how do you keep actually riding the gravy train? So here's what I would do, okay? The current stock is 1550, which is 15 cents above my covered call. If I click into this covered call option right now, you will notice that this covered call is currently showing a loss. Granted, it's actually not that huge of a loss. It's $36, but again, it's only two contracts. So what I can actually do here is what I just discussed in the beginning of this video, which is rolling up and out. So here's an example of rolling up and out. I'm going to go roll this position if you're using a different brokerage other than Robinhood, which I do have a special link for you in the description below as well. But if you use any brokerage, doesn't matter. What you'll want to do is you may actually have to close out that position, open up a new one. It doesn't really matter if you do it in one transaction or not. That's a very common question that I get asked. Okay, so I'm going to roll this into the future. Currently, you can see that it's expiring on June 9th. Okay, what I'm going to do is there's nothing wrong with a little bit more time for expiration, okay? Nothing wrong with that. So I'm gonna go to July 21st, which is about 42 days from when I'm making this video. And again, a lot of my videos are very applicable in the future. So one example I'll show you later in this video was one from the past, but that one was literally me saving over $25,000. So it's really important to really take notes right now. And of course, if you appreciate this, you know, smashing the like button or dropping me a comment because I do look at your comments and it tells me that you are engaged and I make more videos like this. So the expiration date is July 21st, what I'm going to do right now is you can see how I can easily go from the 15 strike price up to the 16 strike price. And actually, here's the beautiful part. Not only am I moving up, so I'm making a dollar on the upside times two contracts, that's $200. I'm making $200 in roughly 42 days, as you can see here, time change is 42 days, but I'm actually collecting a net credit. This is super important because if it goes to, let's say 17, then yes, I would be making about $2, which is great, but 
now it's a net debit. I do not want to pay a net debit. My strategy is to actually roll higher and still collect a net credit. Now, sometimes this could take two weeks, four weeks, eight weeks. And if it's really increased a lot in value, then it might even take, you know, three months. But that doesn't really matter to me. I don't mind having my capital tied up a little bit more as long as I'm making a really good return for the time that I'm waiting. Now, I also want to dive into a put example because a lot of people are selling put options for passive consistent income. That's one of my best videos that I have for you. But before I dive in, I just want to say hitting the like button is super important because I only make videos on topics after seeing the like button and view data so I can be sure I am educating you on exactly what gives you the most value for every minute of your time. So leaving a like now would be awesome. Now, rolling for a net credit also does mean to me that when I'm executing the roll, that the trade aims to receive more premium for the new option position than the premium paid to close the previous position. So again, I'm closing here for 32 cents, but I'm opening a new position for 48 cents. And that's really important for me. Now let's move over to put options. When trading put options, rolling can be employed if a trader believes the stock may continue to decline. Now I have a few positions here where I can actually show you an example where I'm down on a put option and where I'm actually up on a put option because I think looking at both is really important but I still want to profit from the downward movement. Okay. In this case with put options, either way, the trader can roll the put option to a lower strike price or a later expiration date. So actually very similar to the call option example, except the put option example is rolling out just like the call option example. But instead of moving up or rolling higher, you are going to be rolling lower by executing the roll for a net credit. The trader receives more premium, for the new put option position, minimizing losses on the downside. And honestly, since they're collecting a net credit, this is very beneficial. So if we look at my portfolio right now, there is quite a bit of covered calls. And then this sell put option right here is doing very well. It's actually up. So I want to find one where I am losing some money. Okay. So let's see if I can find a position where um, I'm not actually making money and that's kind of hard because right now I've been doing really well with the market um, rising. So I don't think I see any positions where I am selling puts. By the way, take notes of what I am selling right now. Okay. You should definitely take notes, rewind this video and rewatch it if you have to. But I'm trying to find a position where I'm losing on a put option and unfortunately I am not. So what we can do is we can take a look at this Tesla position right here. And the interesting thing is I can actually roll up for a profit as well, um, but also increase my risk. So for example, um, I have been selling puts on Tesla every single week and we have been doing really well as a Discord community because this is actually a medium account trade. I do all kinds of trades. I do small account, medium account, and a large account trading. And I also have a challenge, and which is by the way, the first link in the description of this video. But what I'm doing is I'm selling lots of put options on Tesla. I'm even utilizing some margin when I'm selling put options. And I'm doing this in a very safe way. So as you can see, I have sold the 182 and a half put option. And you know, Tesla's up a lot. I mean, this stock is honestly going wild back to $245 per share. And I have made $800 on this position. And I know I'm really happy about this position because as you can see, my history is I did this on June 1st and now um, it's going to be expiring today on June 9th as I'm making this video. Okay, so $820. But here's the thing, this has already made all of its money. It's already up 97.56% and it's really worth almost nothing. So. Here's what I would do. You, you don't always have to roll down if it's in the money. So if it's in the money, obviously you would roll this 182 down to let's say 180 or 175. But in this scenario, since all my positions are actually very profitable and we're just killing it as a group, you can actually roll up to increase your risk as well. So rolling actually works in two ways. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you can minimize your losses or you can actually increase your gains. So what I'm going to do right now is I have a 182 and a half put option. I can go out somewhere into the future. Let's just use a uh, Let's go out a little bit further. Let's go to August 18. Let's say that you're a little bit of a lazier trader, but you still want to make lots of money, but you're as busy as a lawyer, doctor, or other professional. Then you can actually go like two months out, three months out. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, Tesla is currently at $245 per share. So what I can do is I can roll this option higher, not too high. Obviously, I don't want to have too much risk, but I can move it up to say $200. Okay. So this is still a 20 delta. All right, not bad, pretty good. Implied volatility is 
uh, 15. Now this is really important because when I'm picking stocks, I really want volatile ones with higher implied volatility because higher implied volatility is better, the premium is higher, and when the premium is higher, I can collect more income. And again, is there a difference between rolling an option and closing a position to open a new one? No, there isn't, but I really like to do it in one transaction. So what I'm gonna do here is I can actually move from 182 and a half and open up to 200. So I'm gonna click this right here. You can see here that the time change is 70 days. And I'm collecting a really nice net credit of $7.66, which is $7,666. Now I have another example for you. This is super important. This is something that I previously have done, but I think this example just paints a perfect picture of how you can fix even a multiple five-figure loss. I have had some positions that have lost me some money, or should I say almost lost me some money, but I ended up rolling those positions and two of those positions, and they are really big positions. I mean, ginormous. One of them is an $800,000 position and another one is a $280,000 position. And uh, both these positions add up to being over a million dollars. Yet, if you do the math, my portfolio is already invested in the S&P 500. 2,500 shares. So basically what I'm trying to get at is I'm using margin to sell puts and this isn't the safest strategy, nor do I recommend using margin. I think you need a lot of experience for that. Preferably you're in my discord for at least six months and you're profitable. But I do want to show you how I am rolling a position and how I turned a losing trade into a winning trade. And this is super important, especially for a small portfolio, a medium portfolio, or heck even a large portfolio. It really helps to not lose money. And that's kind of the key to success is in the long term, if you you don't lose a lot of money on certain trades, then well, you're gonna be fine, right? Cause you're gonna win some trades, you're gonna win big on some trades. And if you can minimize your losers or ideally not even have any losers, then you're set up for a lot of success over the long haul. And even over the short haul, right? You're gonna make a ton of money. And basically, let me ask you this. If every trade that you made ended up being a winner and then every trade that was a loser, you actually turned that loser into a break even. What would your profits look like? How would your results look like? And this is actually one of the big biggest secrets to growing a small portfolio because a lot of people out there, they're trying to grow a small portfolio, which is amazing, right? But one of the biggest issues is it doesn't take too much to really break down a small portfolio. If you just have a couple losses, then you can turn, you know, 5K into like 2K, right? You can lose a lot of money. So rolling can save you from losing that money, right? So for example, let's go over the first stock that I ended up rolling. And this was a very interesting roll. And at one point it actually showed negative $30,000 or even more than negative $30,000. Now I was kind of panicking because yeah, I've experienced some losses just like everyone else has, right? I'm not immune to the market falling. However, I'm an 150% margin, actually 152%. If you do the math, I mean, this is about 800,000 position. This is 280, so that's one point. That's 1,080,000. And then if I go into SPY, you'll see that here I have about something like $900,000. Yep, about $900,000. So I have about a $2 million investment and even a little bit more than that because I do have some Apple shares, these Apple shares right here. Let's see how much I have in equity, 57K. So, I mean, still a lot of money, right? That is probably the size of most people's portfolios out there, but obviously I've been doing this for like nine years. So that's why I have large portfolio. It took me a lot of time to definitely get to this point. But anyways, if you'll notice, I have about a $2 million worth of investments, yet my portfolio size is only $1.4 million. So I'm basically borrowing around 50%. I do have some other positions like Oatly and XLY, selling American Airlines puts. We were really successful in this, by the way, in the Discord. But anyways, what I'm doing is I'm borrowing money and I cannot lose my money. And that means that you probably also can't lose your money. Even if you're not using margin, again, I'm not recommending margin. I think that is a thing that you do when you're super advanced, you're part of a community and you have some guidance at least. Doing it yourself can get really, really risky. By the way, you can always schedule a free call by clicking that first link in the description to join the Option Coaching Academy. But essentially what I wanna do is I wanna protect myself from ever, ever losing money. So let's go into SPY. SPY right here, I currently have the 397 put. So if I go into my history, you can see that this isn't just a put sell. I didn't just go ahead and sell puts, this is actually a short put roll. Now what this means and the reason why it says this is because I previously had a position that didn't really go well. And let me show you what that looks like. So previously you can see here that on 610, which is on June 10th, I had the 408 puts. Okay. Now obviously SPY has gone down a lot. If I go down to the one month, this is actually the option view itself, but I have to go back to the stock view. So let me go back to the stock view. Let's quickly look at what happened for three months. So for three months, this thing is down 13.57% and I sold the 408 put. So 
clearly it went below 408 and I would have had to buy a whole lot of contracts. Let's see how many contracts. I would have to buy 20 contracts. So again, 20 contracts times the $400 would be 800 grand. And as you guys can see, I do not have 800 grand in my account. So I need to do something to basically protect myself from losing all of this money. Or, you know, of course I can use margin to get put 800 grand worth of stock, but you know what? There's an interest rate to that. And I do not want to pay interest on $800,000 of loaned money. So the secret to not having to pay interest is by rolling that position. And basically you can keep rolling until you become profitable. So let me go back into this 397 put option. Let me show you how I protected myself and basically got myself out of a really bad situation. I mean, I was in a complete pickle. It was like that OMG moment. I don't know. You guys probably experienced that at one point in your life. You're like, OMG, is my life over? Or are things about to get really, really bad? What do I do? And you got to think really hard and critically on how to get out of that situation. But luckily with option trading, you don't have to be super quick. You can just think it through. And the best thing that you can do is roll down. So it's called, it's called rolling down. But actually what I did was I rolled down and out. So for example, let me go back here. I had a 408 put, okay? This was expiring on 610 on June 10th. Um, so what I did was I bought back 20 of the contracts, okay? Now that would be super expensive because 20 contracts times $16 would be what? Like $32,000. So like I said, I was down over $30,000. So this would be a $32,000. In fact, it might be even a little bit more than $32,000 because of this 34 cents here. So it was probably like $32,680. So I had a big hole in my pocket. Now, if I were just to buy this back, that hole would be permanently burnt. Like my wallet that got stolen when I was traveling, okay? That wallet was gone. I never got it back. Unfortunately, I had to get all those credit cards back and order them to Europe, right? But what you can do to actually kind of get your wallet back or get your money back, right? So let's say you have a hole that's burnt in your pocket. That wallet just fell through the cracks and someone found it. Well, what if I told you that you could basically have like a line, like a rope attached to your wallet. So when someone was trying to take your wallet or when it just fell out, you would have felt it like dragging on the ground or you would have felt a tug. Basically, all I'm saying is there's like a safety net to protecting yourself from losing your wallet. And in option trading, the way you don't lose your wallet and you don't burn your cash is by rolling. So these 20 contracts right here, I bought them back. The 408 was the strike and the date was 610. Then what I did was, you can see here that I closed, but then I actually opened simultaneously. You can see right here that it was like 12.06 p.m. And then I um, opened another 20 contracts by selling them also at 12.06 p.m. on June 10th. Now in this situation though, I went down. So you can see I went from 408 to 397. If you do the math there, that's $11. Might not seem like a lot, but $11 since each option is 100 shares, $11 is actually $1,100. And because this is 20 contracts, I ended up saving about $11 times 20, which is $220 times 100, which is $22,000 in collateral. So I'm going down by $22,000. I have saved myself $22,000. And guess how much? You already know this. You can already see on my screen. Guess how much I had to pay to save $22,000? I paid $1,000 to save $22,000. This is called a roll. This is rolling down. And Robinhood and many other brokers out there, right? I like Robinhood because it's super simple. I've been using it for a long time. So it is kind of hard for me to transition, but you can use this on any broker out there. Even if you're in Canada, right? There's Quest Trade. There's other brokers out in Canada, but it doesn't really matter. Whatever brokerage you have, and by the way, you don't even have to have this button. For example, you don't have to have a roll button in your brokerage. You can just close it out and then as soon as possible, open up a new position manually in two trades. But Robinhood allows you to do it in one trade, which is amazing, okay? So this is the button where you would do it at, okay? It says roll this position. Now quickly, just to recap, I went from 610 to 715. So, you know, I had to wait a little bit more. This is about a five week period, okay? A little bit less than five weeks. So I had to roll out five weeks and then I, I rolled down, which is a benefit to me by $22,000. So I actually ended up saving $21,000 because I'm saving 22K, but I paid a thousand. So ended up saving $21,000 for about five weeks. So $21,000 for five weeks, that's like $4,000 a month. Okay, amazing. Obviously I have a larger portfolio, but even if you have a smaller portfolio, just apply the same principles to a small position. You could sell a Palantir put option for $8.50. And if it goes down to $8, you can roll it from $8.50 down to $8. There you go. You would say $50. So when you click roll 
control this position, all right? It is going to give me the opportunity to take my current position of 397. And right now, SPY is lower than 397. So for example, let's say that, you know, I'm bearish or I'm afraid or whatever. I just want to roll down again. I can roll to a future date. So my current expiration date is June 15. And I can roll out to, let's say, another 30 days or even less than 30 days. It doesn't matter. I can go for less than 30 days. So August 12th, okay? So I'm going to go for August 12th. This is less than 30 days out. Now, I'm going to show you a couple different scenarios, okay? So if I went from 397 and I actually just kept it at, well, there is no 397 for some reason, but if I rolled it down to 396, you can actually see here that I would collect $6,980. Literally nothing has changed. In fact, a little bit has changed. I'm actually benefiting myself down by a dollar, but really not much has changed. Let's just pretend this is basically the same strike. But because I'm going out in terms of expiration date, right? So I'm going from July 15 to August 12th, because I'm going out about 30 days, actually like 28 or 27 days, actually 28 days, it says right there, I'm actually going to collect a credit. This is really important. I'm actually collecting a credit and I'm basically doing nothing. This whole premium is actually coming from time value. This is all coming because, you know, options have theta, which is time decay. And because I'm going out for an extra 28 days, there's inherently a little bit more risk because it's 20 days out. So because it's 28 days out, I'm getting paid. I'm getting compensated about $7,000 for going out. But wait, you don't actually have to pick the same strike. You can go down as I just showed you. So let's just say that, you know, you don't know if SPY is going to go up or whatever stock is going to go up, right? Let's say you think it can pretty much stay the same or whatever. You think it can go up, but maybe it's not going to go up to the 397 mark. You can go down, as you can see by the premium, even if I go down to 390, 390 right here, I can again buy myself $7. You can see from 397 to 390, I'm buying myself $7. 20 contracts of this is $14,000. So I'm basically saving $14,000 by rolling this option. And it's not a big amount of money. I'm getting a net credit of $9, it's 180 bucks. But basically I'm getting paid to save money. So I'm getting paid $180 to save $14 thousand dollars. So this is a win-win. This is how you would roll a losing position. So you can continuously roll on a monthly basis or even on a weekly or every two week basis. You can continuously roll down and down and down. And eventually you're going to roll down enough to the point where that stock is going to be higher than your put price. Okay. So eventually you can actually never lose money by continuously rolling. And this especially works on very, very safe stocks like SPY. Now I do want to show you exactly what I did as well on XLY. So XLY is another position that I had that I was down a lot of money on and it's the same situation as SPY. So I want to show you this exact example as well. So you get a better understanding. You can actually master rolling options because I think this is the most important skill that you can literally have in option trading for at least managing your risk. Okay, there's more important things like how to enter a stock, which strategy to use, technical analysis, but for managing a position and most importantly, managing your risk and not losing money because I've talked to so many people in discord who before them joining the discord they're down like tens of thousands of dollars or you know i've seen people down even more than that right or even a few thousand dollars that is still sad to see because your hard earned money is important you do not want to lose it and as warren buffett says rule number one don't lose money and rule number two is to look at rule number one so basically you really don't want to lose money and just to paint the picture okay i'm going to paint the picture of why it's so bad to lose money imagine this so let's say you have a hundred dollars you invested a hundred dollars okay you did something really risky. It didn't work out and you're down 50%. Okay. So, you know, how much would you have? You're probably saying I would have $50. Exactly. So you went from hundred to 50, you're down 50%, but check this out to go from $50 to hundred dollars. It's not a 50% gain. It is now a double on your money. You actually have to double $50 to get back to your original hundred dollars. And that's why it is so detrimental to your long-term success. It is so bad when you're losing money because losing Losing money is way worse than just staying even or breaking even, right? Or obviously breaking out a small profit. But when you lose money, that is going to be much more difficult to make back. So you want to protect yourself at all costs against losing money in your portfolio. So that's basically what I'm always trying to do in terms of risk management and really good risk management means that yes, you can lose money sometimes, but your winners far outweigh your losers. And when you do lose, that loss is very minimal. Okay, so I had XLY, I sold the put option. And as you'll see right here, it also says short put roll. So if I open up XLY, see right here that I actually bought back same date, right? It was the same date. It was two minutes later. I bought back the 150 put. The 150 put was way in the money. I would have to pay about $10,000 to buy it all back. But instead, you know, obviously I bought it back and then I rolled it. So I actually ended up selling 20 contracts to replace the 20 that I previously had. But now I went down to 
once. Make sure that you keep watching some more videos in my option playlist to master your option trading.